All right, Jay Shock Blast here. We are back, and uh, we are about to talk to the information broker uh, and continue. Did I already do this? Yeah, I already did this. Okay. Uh, we're going to continue the mainline quest. If I can remember how to get up to him. Take the stairs. Getting a Lord Vader vibe here. All right, here he is. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem in the end? Does it matter? Job's done. Hmm, is that so? I'll tell you. I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose. Oh, oh, apologies. You meant, right, yes. I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Someone has trust issues, though I can't hardly feign surprise. Yes, that is all. No, I am not mocking you. Much. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. I'm starting to see why you don't get much company out here. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. <laughs> so, so previously, when I, uh, when I previously was, um, up here, I was wondering why it even bothered sending me up to the roof, and now I know why. This is precisely why. He told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? Black holes! Did you see 
Vida. Yep. Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram, Hiram, are you there? Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my board damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. Okay. Where do I speak with Phineas? At my ship? I have to go all the way over to there. What's the fastest way? Shoot. Um, I guess Cascadia. No, we don't want to go in the interior. Let's go to the landing pad. Where are we going? Oh, wait, there's... Aw, oh, didn't I have trouble getting out of here last time? I really don't want to fight. I just want to run. That's creepy. Suicide. You got a way around it. Ain't no shit. Oh, She's on fire. Like One down. Even worse. We can get our hands dirty. Oh, my Lanta.
Nice. All right, let's spend them skill points. All right. I can't believe I've not invested in any of this. All right. There's a lot of... Well, that sounds sucky. Something you really need to ask? There better be a way up there. It doesn't even sound like that's like the worst of it. Ah, oh, of course. Stalker. Is that thing? The whole changing of the clip seems a little unnecessary. Everyone all right? All right. So this is where I need to be, but how do I get up there? Go on ahead, Captain. I'm not keen on ships, even when they're in the best of shape. Me too. You know corpses shit themselves, right? Enjoy the smell. Probably the last time. 
It's a shame you can't see this middle finger I'm holding up. Because I'm doing it as hard as I can. I wonder if anybody's alive. This is kind of weird. Uh, I don't know who to give it to. I don't know. <laughs> Zero of ten with the monarch judge. See, I'm almost there. I'm locked out of that. Oh no. <sighs> All right, let's just go back. We'll go finish this quest while we uh, contemplate our fate. All right, there's an achievement for brokering peace between them. Uh... Oh, Captain, you did it. My little boy is back safe and sound. Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are gonna have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuck Tuck home safe again. Okay. 
All right. So I'm going to talk to Sanjar. We're going to save the game just in case I mess up. Uh, you have a related problem. Stay back to Phineas. I would like to broker peace. I'm not giving it to you. If the iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the iconoclasts. They're all mad. And what's more, they left us. I don't see any way for us to work together. Ugh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantapillar, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. You too? He has a point, sir. And it's not all bad. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh, she's actually very qualified. If it weren't for her, I'd wager the Iconoclast would have died off a while ago. I. I wasn't expecting to say this, but if you can put her in charge and convince her to agree to a meeting, I'd be willing to discuss terms. That was perfect. That could not have gone better. All right. So now we just need to... No, that's not where we want to go. We want to go up to Amber Heights. All right. Captain, we should chat. Yes, we should. Graham's got the right idea, but he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just guilt-ridden. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I keep going over and over it in my head, and the only way I see the Iconoclast surviving is we depose him. Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. I should... Oh, good. Okay. I'm going to save again. I don't want to ruin it, but I think I can get my way through this. I want to get that achievement and save them both. Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. <laughs> Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. What? Zora? You're running the Iconoclast into the ground, and I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already, and you've... you've brought me as far as you can down the Eternal Path. 
it's time to step down. The troops. Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, for us, you throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later, we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconoclasts. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But... I know the truth now, Grim. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. I've spent years atoning for my sins. I've studied, meditated, taught. I built the Iconoclasts so that any man could cast away his past for a fresh start. That's your answer, Graham? You needed a fresh start? After all those innocent lives? I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. Okay. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. So be it. Incoming! Why is my reputation decreased? Give me your shit. Well, Captain, here we are. Killed a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclasts, and it never feels right. But this time, it's especially wrong. You've got the... Void held me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. The device from the ship. Do you have it? I've thought about it, but I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. I... You've got me there. A fair few. I've lost a hell of a lot to this fight. Graham would never agree to this, but... I'm starting to realize how often he led us astray. All right. If he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. Well then. I've got to prepare a few just-in-case measures. But when you're ready, let's meet at the old OSI church outside Stellar Bay. All right. I didn't want to have to kill Graham, but I guess there's really no choice. So... Little teabag action. Notice how I very maturely said that. Like, it was no big deal. All right, so let's go do this. Huh. 
Hey, thanks for coming. I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to improvise. Gotta admit, I really thought I was walking into a trap here. I'm ready. If it were, I wouldn't be standing here all vulnerable-like. Sanja, Stellar Bay's got food and walls. And my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks. Not good enough. I need to move a fair amount of my people into the city. We need shelter, Captain. Oh, I screwed that up. Suppose some of our healthier folk could offer aid. Some of us need to stay in the city proper, though. Well, I'll be damned. If you two can work together, maybe there's some hope for this place after all. Truly? A compromise? I'm not sure I'd ever have heard as much from Graham. Graham was a murderous fiend. And I'd be shocked if you didn't already know that. Boyd, take his agreement. He stood by and let it happen. This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but me is laughing at something. But you two aren't laughing. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. But that means... I had no idea, I swear. Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that. I buy it. Sanjar ain't capable of hurting a sprat, even from a distance. You can't take bureaucrats at their word. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. I... Okay. Okay. You're right. Sorry. It'll take me a while to get over losing Graham. You know, I felt the same way years ago, when he first left. You know, there was something magnetic about him that lets you ignore the things you didn't want to see. But surely you know what that's like. Yeah, I... I do. Okay, if you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. As am I. Oh, I can feel my blood pressure lowering already. Thanks for coming out, Sanjo. I... <laughs> see you at Stella Bay. Gotta be honest, Captain. Never thought I'd see the day. You've done a good thing for Monarch here. Can we talk? Wait, who has to talk? Things on Monarch have really cooled off. I didn't think MSI and the Iconoclast would ever talk. Outside of shouting four-letter words, I mean. Sure, and fish sticks are really made from Saltuna. Look, I won't knock the work you did. I'm sure they'll have a good cry, look through old photographs, share a pint of premium double chocolate cacao gelato. But sooner or later, things will go back to the way they were. People don't change. Not really. Well, who hasn't been there? Anyway, I'd hate to see you get broken up if this thing between them doesn't last. Hey, let's not make this out to be more than it is. Anything else? I don't know who wanted to talk. You know, I've been assuming this entire stay on your ship thing isn't a permanent arrangement. Part of my contract? That said, you ain't been eaten or shot to death yet. Says a lot about the stability of your future. 
And to be honest, I'm about sick of sleeping on bar stools. So how's about this? You keep letting me stay on that ship of yours, and I'll keep shooting at the things you point at. Outstanding. All right. I don't know who wanted to talk to me. Someone said, oh, let me talk to you. All right, whatever. So we're good there. Let's uh, go talk to Phineas. And that'll be that. I would prefer to go where is my ship? Whatever. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave series. That's great. Let's go back to Phineas's lab. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Eh, we'll leave Ellie behind and we'll bring Sam this time. Why not? on your mind. 
All right, so there we have it. Uh, pretty straightforward. On to the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. We will see ya.